Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Jen with Two Sister Bees. If you are returning, thank you for clicking on the video and I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing for the last two weeks with my budget. If you are new here, welcome to the hive. This channel is ran by, this channel is run, ran, run, by myself, Jen, and my sister, April. We do this together for you guys. We are so very different in so many ways. We think that that is uh, part of our charm. Let's go with that. Everybody's favorite thing to do, budget. And I have mine for the last two weeks. So if you wanna see how my spending's been going, stick around. Okay, so I am finally post vacation because if you've watched my last video, you know that vacation spending was a little crazy. Doesn't count. So this is kind of more my typical spending. So let's get into this and see where I'm at. Okay, so the first thing I always wanna show you guys is the debt watch. And this is just where I'm keeping track of all of my debts and whether I have paid them off or sold them all together. And these are the beginning balances that I started with when I started really keeping track back in April of this year. So this is always like a good thing to have and I'll show you uh, one of these, why I like having this later. Next is my breakup with your debt trackers and these have all of my debts and what I'm paying on them and how they're going so far. So let me get my binder and show you guys where I'm at with these. So if you're new here, this is my binder, one of my binders. I now have three you guys to show you finally. So anyway, this is my very first cash envelope binder that I have ever had and I love it and it has started me doing all of this that you see today. How do you do it? What I do is each week I take a set amount and I put it into these binders and I will use this one as an example. This is my RV that I have with State Farm and I have decided to start making principal payments on top of my regular payment. So I have been saving $55 a week into my envelope so that each month I can make a principal payment towards this RV. And what's happening is I wanted to show you guys this past month, just in July, with my regular payment and my principal payment together, my balance went down $681.52, which is really good because usually I don't see much of a budge in this one. This one just kind of lingers around and never really goes down. So this was a really big thing for me this month to see that that balance actually went down a substantial amount and I'm about to go finally under 40,000. So this is very, very good. I'm happy about the RV. Next is my Home Depot. And as you can see, there's nothing going on there. There's nothing going on here with my Wells Fargo loan or with my car payments. And that is because these three are on the back burner until these three start showing some improvement. I have big dreams. So I showed you the improvement I made with my RV in July, and here's the improvement that I've made with my IRS. Again, I'm very happy after the payment that was made from my trustee binder envelope. This is again, an envelope that I've been saving each week. And then at the end of the month, I send in a lump sum. So after I made my payment, there has been a difference of $1,202 in my overall balance for my taxes. So this is very good as well. Now my next one is my Wells Fargo Visa. <laughs> as you can see, I just bounce around with this guy, but it is the only credit card that I have a balance on and I do use it for certain things. Um, a lot of it, it's just like mostly travel is what I use it for. And that's kind of like a protection thing for me. And I don't, you know, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I, actually had an issue with American Airlines where they owed me over $500. And because I used my PayPal credit card, I actually got that money back. And if I would have used my debit card, I don't think I would have ever gotten it back. So for travel, I do use this and then I pay it off um, very quickly or within the week. So what I did this month, let's get, skip, let's get to that. What did you do? What did you do? So I did make my payment of 2044, again from my binder envelope that I saved up over the month. And that took me down quite substantially. Um, 
you can see I had a balance of 8,690. After that payment, I went down to 6,646, but I used it for a trip that my husband and I are gonna go on at the end of August. So that one, we're just going away on a two day trip. I used it to pay for the bed and breakfast that we're staying at. So that is 905. So that brought me back up to 7552, but I will be paying that off in two payments. One will be this Friday, which is today, and one will be next Friday because I really do want to get this one paid off completely. So that goal is not gone away, but I do use this card as you can see. And I wanted to show you here is my IRS payment that I made, 1250, yay and my extra principal payments in my RV that I just showed you. And this is all because of these cash envelopes. And speaking of cash envelopes, some of them owe me some money. So let's get started with that. So the first one that owes me money this week is my husband. And he owes me money for two things. One, he bought a new wallet and he bought a Yeti cup. So <laughs> he owes me 140 from his envelope. And I'm gonna make some change from another envelope. Let's see what we have here. Maybe Uhtred can help dad out. Let's see. 40, 50, and we'll put this 50 from dad back in Uhtred's, give this to dad. Sometimes exchanging money just confuses me. I know it shouldn't, but it does. Okay, so dad owes 140, one, <laughs> 40. <laughs> I called him dad again. That cracks me up. All right. So we're going to put this to the side and we're going to mark that on August 5th. He had to give me 140. So he is down to 260 currently. So the next envelope that owes me money is my bougie envelope. And that is because I went and got my hair done yesterday, or should I just say my roots, getting rid of those grays. And this envelope owes 114. And I'm not gonna make change for a dollar, so we will just say 115. And I need to write this one down. And the last one that owes me is my Airbnb in Florida. I bought some things for the house. So I ordered some stuff from Amazon and this envelope owes me $209. Again, I'm not gonna worry about a dollar. I'm gonna take 210. Okay, so I took the 210 and I marked that down as well. My phone is heating up and just shutting off while I'm filming, which is one of my new envelopes that I just started a couple weeks ago. I need a new phone and I wanna get a watch to go with it. So I'm saving up for that to have by September 1st. I wanna to mention too, real quick, any of these pieces of paper that you see me using, if you like them, you wanna try it out. These are in my sister's Etsy store. All of these are available. You can download them right away and print them out and start using them. So these are super cool and helpful. So next I'm gonna show you guys my expense trackers. And this is for the last two weeks. I have not been doing very bad or anything crazy. I'm pretty proud of myself to be perfectly honest. I did get a skincare. I'm 47 years old. Your girl needs some skincare, 20812. I've used it a couple times. I like it. It's a little, um, I don't know, my skin's a little sensitive to it, which doesn't usually happen, so I'm just gonna start using it every other day. I don't know if you guys care about that, but I just thought that I'd throw that in there. <laughs> so me and Jason also got some stuff to do painting together. That was 316.80, which was a lot more than I anticipated, but I do really like it, and I will be continuing with doing these little paintings. They are very um, relaxing. So that is something that I definitely needed to start working on was um, my self-care. So as you can see with even just these first two purchases, I'm doing that. So I'm actually pretty proud of myself for that. So next is just some Target house stuff. The house that we're in, this Airbnb, was missing 
some things. So I, I just went and grabbed them. I did go to the thrift store. I bought a couple things. I bought a couple cute little owls for my sister. I had to show you guys how freaking cute are these. I love them and she's redoing her living room and I knew they would match perfectly and they were 22 but because it was a green sticker I got it for half off so I got him for $11 how cute is this and she calls them sister owls which I love I didn't even think about that when I bought them but they really are like little sister owls so how cute are these and then I went to the thrift store next door and I got some toys and some books for my granddaughter Jolene she will be here in less than a week so we're super excited and jason's yeti cup that he just paid me back for there is that so miscellaneous spending has not been bad for the last couple weeks next is amazon again i am not upset with myself at all with the amazon spending the last couple weeks everything is perfectly normal jason Ultima drink 38.99 he gets that probably once a month I did buy a water dispenser I was so sick of spending so much money on bottled water I got a five gallon dispenser and it is one of the best purchases I have ever made I bought myself a new binder wallet that I will show you guys in my next cash stuffing video which I'm going to be filming later today so watch out for the cash stuffing video if you are new and you're wondering about all of these envelopes and how this system works watch for the cash stuffing video coming up tomorrow because i am going to be stuffing these binders and the new wallet binder that i bought from amazon bought some things for the granddaughter again <laughs> but this money actually didn't come out of my checking account because i had a gift card balance with amazon so it doesn't count and the things i bought for the house in florida that i took the 209 for there is that and last but not least, you know the problem child here is the groceries and nothing, nothing changed the last two weeks. It's still a freaking problem. So Safeway, Safeway, Sam, Safeway, Holiday, Sam's. Guys, there are three people in this house. I don't know what we are eating. Is that, is that normal? It's insane. I think it's what I'm buying. I, I don't know. It's not normal. I don't know. So what I did decide to try to change the situation a little bit is a couple things. Okay, so the total for the last two weeks, I don't know what is going on here. I can't figure it out. It, I mean, my refrigerator is not like busting at the seams. I don't know what is going on here. It's not normal. So I'm gonna put that total here, 19, 10, 55. Is anyone else having this problem or is it just me? Let me know in the comments because I really do worry about myself with this. I'm not going to lie. But this does include my household stuff like toilet paper, paper towels, cleaners, all that stuff. And that stuff's not cheap, right? I mean, I don't know. Am I the only one? Help me out, guys. Okay, so this is my spending and I have some plans for this and I will share that stuff with you guys on my cash stuffing video. So you got to watch out for that. Here's a time for some truth. This ain't happening. I said I was gonna do the no spend for August. You guys, it's, it's not happening. I don't know when I'm gonna do this. I really want to, believe me. It just doesn't seem to be in the cards right now. And I just really wanted to uh, be, on, be honest with you guys and tell you I did not even try to begin this no spend. But again, this is available in our Etsy shop too if you like this and you could do a no spend for a month. It's probably the cutest one I've ever seen. So <laughs> you can go in the Etsy store and get yours and you could actually start the no spend challenge because I can't. And here's another thing that I did not really follow through with and I'm going to tell you why I have a reason. So this was my monthly expense sheet that kind and I noticed like everybody has one. So I guess I felt the need to have one. But with everything else that I just showed you, I don't really see the need for it. I have all of my things listed out. I know where all of my money is going. I know what I've been saving. So I really think this uh, piece of paper is obsolete for me and I was gonna change it up, but when I went to do it, I decided, nope, not doing it. I am going to uh, just do without a monthly expense sheet. So let's count up what is coming back to me. This is money already spent, you guys. It's not like, you know, it's Christmas over here or anything. I already spent all this money, so it really just goes back in the bank. So let's see what we have. 100, 200, 300, 
400 and 50, 55, 60, 65. 465. And that is why I love these binders because to have it saved up just makes it feel so much better when you can actually take money that you've been saving in a binder for possibly months and just put it right back into your checking account. You cannot beat that. So if you're new to the channel, you definitely want to subscribe. Hit the button. Now's the time. Thanks for hanging out and watching me do my budget and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.